Hello and welcome to Unit 4. In this unit, we'll look in much more detail at the space-time interval, and we'll derive a formula for it, a formula that relates the space-time interval to position and time coordinates in a reference frame. That equation will be called the metric equation, and that's one of the most important equations in all of special relativity. Before we get started with that, let me just remind you and say a little bit more about um, the different types of time that we learned about in Unit 3. And in so doing, I'm going to slightly mix metaphors between um, distance and the space-time interval between um, space-time and an ordinary map. So the proper time, or proprietary time, is a time between two events as measured by a clock that's present at both events. And there are lots of different proper times. The analog in um, uh, a, a regular map would be just a path length. So maybe Anastasia and Beowulf go from a point in space to another point in space, but they take different paths. Maybe one goes straight, the other wanders around a little bit, and they end up at the same point in space after a little while. And they might ask, have a conversation and say, how, um, how far did you travel? And they would have different answers. They've traveled different distances, even though they end up at the same um, point in space. So in relativity, we can ask the same thing, but instead of points in space, we would have events in space-time. So there might be uh, two events in space-time, and these two are present at both of them, but they traveled on different world lines in a space-time diagram. And so they might then have a conversation, hey, what was the time interval? How long did it take? Um, what was the time difference between event A and B? And they would have different answers. Their clocks would read different things because they've traveled different paths in space-time. Then lastly, there is the coordinate time. And the coordinate time was just a time measured in an inertial reference frame. Um, when we talked about maps, we imagined coordinate systems that were tilted with respect to each other. And so you would have different x and y coordinates for a point in space, but the distances as measured in these reference frames would be the same. And in special relativity, we've seen that a um, uh, reference frame at rest, one that's moving at a constant speed, those would also give different readings for time intervals. So you'd have a coordinate time in the blue at rest reference frame, a coordinate time in the moving uh, purple reference frame, and those would be different. But everybody would agree on the space-time interval. So the space-time interval is the analog of distance in a map. It's the time interval as read um, by a single clock that's present at both events, and it's an inertial clock, meaning it travels on a straight line, a uh, straight world line on a space-time diagram. It's the equivalent of distance on a map. A distance is the straight line distance between two points. The space-time interval is the, in a sense, straight line time between two points in space-time. So we're going to derive an equation for um, space-time, the space-time interval, and we'll get started on that in the next video.